Hello. Hello, hey. everybody. Hey, I'm Jen Eskridge, and with me on this second Pro Stitcher Facebook Live is Gail Berry. Hi, everybody. So uh, we're going to, you know, chat for a little bit, wait and see who, uh, see if we can have a couple of folks join us to watch the Facebook Live. And uh, today we'll talk about learning curves and Gail has a special announcement towards the end, which should be really exciting. So Gail, where are you from? I am currently sitting in my studio in Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. So I'm in Southern Ontario. Okay. And it's not a hundred degrees there. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It's 97 today. Okay. Yesterday and today you. here in Southern Ontario have been the hottest days we've had all summer. Yesterday was 104 with humidity, humidity, humidex. Um, yeah. We, okay. We I had no idea. Summer now that school's back. Go figure. <laughs> That's wild. Okay. I well, I, um, so Pro Stitcher is based in Salt Lake City and I work in San Antonio where it has been a hundred for about six weeks. So oh, I couldn't do it. <laughs> well, we don't have winter though. So there's that. Uh, do not underestimate winter. Winter is beautiful and it's so cold. You feel zero guilt about staying inside and quilting all day long. Well, so, so you probably have made just hundreds of quilts. I mean, you've, you, how long have you been, how long have you been quilting? I've been quilting for about 15 years only. Um, oh, okay. I didn't even own a sewing machine until I was in my 40s. Oh, okay. And then you were like, own. no, full speed. Full speed, jumped right in with a long arm with, um, way back with Pro Stitcher Classic, um, because I viewed that as a way to successfully finish my quilts now. I felt like I was behind. Like I talked to other people and they were quilting at their grandmother's knees and I felt like I had to play catch up. So therefore, I jumped right in with both feet on everything. That's awesome. So, so what do you what do you do, Gail? I love. Um, well, I make quilts and I quilt for other people. But my real passion, the thing that really brings me the most joy, is teaching pro stitcher and pro stitcher designer, but pro stitcher to other people. I love to watch the light bulbs go off. I love to equip people with the tools and the knowledge so that they can go ahead and they're going to go home now and they're going to finish their quilt successfully. And I just love it. People will send me pictures after and say, oh, I did it. And that just makes me really happy. That's fantastic. That's going to definitely, you'll definitely be the expert to weigh in uh, when I share the uh, exciting four new playlists that we have developed on uh, Pro Stitcher's YouTube channel. So it kind of came about in that uh, through, you know, various online forums and through customer service feedback and things, we've noticed that, of course, there's a learning curve with uh, Pro Stitcher because, yes. uh, you know, not only is it a different technology, but it's always an advancing technology, but it's also something that is hobby based. So if you took the summer off for gardening and swimming pools and all that, even if you have absolutely mastered something in March and you took six or eight months off, it may still be like, oh, it's coming back to me. Uh, it's coming back to me. And it does come back to you, no problem. But we're hopeful that our new playlist will help expedite that or shorten rather that learning curve. So uh, we're glad that you took some time off over the summer and we're glad to have quilters back in the fall. And you know what I'm really excited for your playlist for? Not just those people, those new people, but someone like myself who quilts for others, most of the time I'm doing it all over edge to edge. So right. if you want to talk about drag and drop and crop with my eyes closed, you know, in my sleep. But some of those other things when I go to do a custom quilt, it's been a long time. And even though I've been quilting for 15 years, every now and then I sit there going, huh? Is it this or is it that? And I just, right. knowing now that I don't have to remember it, knowing that I have a tool that I can go to to access and go, that's it. That's well, exciting. That, that was the other, Pro Stitcher is so robust. It can do everything from, I want to load a quilt, uh, top batting and back and baste all over it for my best girlfriend who loves hand quilting. 
I can use it just for that. No problem. Based all over with my long arm, all the way over to jaw on the floor, custom quilting for whatever show you want to enter and have all the ribbons to completely, you know, cover one wall of your house. It's got such a range. However, if you just uh, wake up one day and say, I have a quilt, I just want to edge to edge and it has some applique. How do I do just those things? You don't have to learn the whole robust system. You can learn just the things you need, master that and move on or master that and keep coming back to it. So um, our producer, Jacob, is so awesome to help us get these Facebook lives up. Uh, Jacob, could you possibly switch over to show the folks uh, the YouTube screen? And I'm going to show you where to find these playlists. Thanks, Jacob. So here I am on the Pro Stitcher slash C, I'm sorry, YouTube slash C slash Pro Stitcher YouTube website. I definitely mixed up all those words. Hope you enjoyed that alphabet soup. Um, so I'm on the Pro Stitcher YouTube and we have 97 videos currently. We're definitely hoping to add. And if you have suggestions for what you would like to see uh, content wise or what kind of demo you'd like or here's one block, how would I, how can I set this up or what would this look like? We'd love your suggestions. Um, but right now we have 97 videos and on the, on the YouTube uh, page, we're going to click the word playlists right here. And the very first one we're going to look at is the, the most simple, straightforward one that I think most people will um, think of, like Gail was saying, you know, most people go straight to this when they purchase a long arm. And you'll be looking for this uh, graphic, the eight key tutorials to quilt edge to edge. Oh, I guess we're gonna watch it. <laughs> Here we go. Just one second. Those pesky ads have to get in there. I mean, I know, I know. I definitely YouTube, right. So what we've done is we've set it up where you can, where YouTube has set this part up, where you just click the icon and it starts playing our eight um, videos in order. So I did not, so on the videos, some of them have the same thing twice. So you'll know that there's um, turning off your pro stitcher. That's going to be in all of them. Um there's a few more repositioning a design after shutdown. I believe that's also in all the playlists. There's some things that you're always going to need to do, but also that means that there's only now there's only six things that are very specific to edge to edge and you can go through and watch them independently or watch the entire thing. Uh, each video, I think the longest one is maybe six minutes. So they're all little bites of information that get you just to what you need to do. And you can see them, uh, you can see the whole playlist here, play all. You could shuffle if you like, if you're feeling dangerous. Go ahead, mix it up. Let me go back to our YouTube home. One of the... Jen, oh, oh, sorry. Ahead. I just want to say that the nice thing that I really liked when I were pre was previewing some of these, that you mentioned already, they are short videos. So... I'm not committing 45 minutes of my time or listening to somebody talk about 13 other things to get to the point. When I want to learn how to do this, I can find out how to do this quickly and efficiently. So you're really respecting my time in these videos as well. And if I don't need to watch that video on how to shut my machine down, I can skip it in that playlist. And oh. it's just, it's brilliant. Yeah, for sure you can. We, uh, you know, put our... The, cool, the Pro Stitcher team kind of put our heads together and thought of what are some of the topics when you think, I just, I got this quilt, I just want to do this thing. It with, and with the attitude, I just want to learn this type of thing. We have 11 key tutorials for edge to edge a quilt if you have applique on it. And that's a pretty common, you know, maybe you have an embroidery. Have you seen many of those come through the customer list there, Gail? I sure have. 
<laughs> yep. And you, and a lot of times they don't want the customers don't want you to stitch over the applique or stitch over the embroidery, especially if it's hand done. I, I've been known to do both, but that's okay. But in this playlist, we just tell you how to address your quilt. If it has applique and you've already decided you'd like to do edge to edge. Awesome. You got it right here in 11, yeah. 11 easy steps. And you already know two of them are one of them's turning off your, <laughs> turning off your long arm and one of them's repositioning. Another thing uh, people may say, okay, I've done edge to edge. I want to branch out a little bit. I want a custom quilt with my pro stitcher system. That's it. This one right here will let you again in only eight steps. And it, that sounds insane, right? Because custom quilting sounds very, I, I believe most people perceive that custom quilting sounds very intimidating. Um, I would agree would with say? that. Yeah, absolutely. Because you think custom quilting and you think, oh, now it has to be like even more perfect than an edge to edge. Like it's more, right. it's more, it's, and it is, they are more, there are more designs and there is a little more thought that has to go into it to make sure that the various designs you pick go together in some of those things. So it can be really intimidating before you even stand at the machine, just the words. Well, and I think, yeah, I do think the words, I'm not going to say really trigger people, but they, they might be a little bit intimidating. However, and I know this is probably going to be the controversial statement of the Facebook Live, but in a lot of ways, I find custom quilting easier than edge to edge. You lining up, you, you define your area, you put in a block, you stitch that one thing, you go eat dinner, you turn it off, whatever. And you've done that just one thing. And Pro Stitcher, of course, has stitch stats, which will let you know that it's going to stitch that out in seven minutes. So, okay, seven minutes, then I got to go pick up a kid and I don't have to wait for a row. I don't have to realign. I don't have to adjust. You just pick one spot, throw a block in it, and now it's custom quilted. But it sounded scary, but it's definitely not. That's a really good point, Jen. Thanks for bringing that up. I, I would not have thought of it quite that way. That's really going to help me when I'm teaching now um, <laughs> to say, my friend Jen thinks about this way about it. So thanks. That's that's a great tip. Well, I, so I will say, though, overall, right, if you have two quilts side by side, one you want a custom quilt, one you want to edge to edge, the custom quilting, of course, it will be more time consuming. Um, and it may be quilted possibly more densely, denser. Possibly. Dense, Densely. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. uh, but I do find it to be a, a pretty easy, straightforward process. Um, maybe a little more so than the edge to edge, which I mean, maybe that's just unpopular. So then the fourth, the fourth uh, playlist we have, which is a very popular quilt style is I just want to edge to edge my quilt, but it has some borders on it. Like you took the time to piece the borders. You took the time to measure, to plan out. There's no wave in your border because you, you've really got this set up and you don't want to just run edge to edge over that. You would like to feature it to add borders to your quilt at edge to edge in the center. I've got some great news. We have a playlist with nine key tutorials. And again, you already know repositioning is going to be on there and turning it off is going to be on there. So let's take a minute to well, uh, well, real quick, I do hope to add to the playlists um, to how our Pro Stitcher team add to the playlists that are available. So if there's something that you would like to see, oh, I mentioned this earlier, if there's a, a task you'd like to see or a, a method, a group of questions you'd like answered in a short series of videos, let us know and we'll see what we can put together. So let's uh, let's pop over to the comments and see what's what's happening with our our biggest fans. Hi, everyone. Okay, we have a, a question here. The tablet battery issue is what keeps me from purchasing. Will you ever get this program on an iPad? As far as I know, there are not plans to work on an iPad. Gail, do you have more information on that one? I don't believe so. And it's to it is only based on the operating system, right? I mean, the Windows operating system and the Mac operating systems are two totally different operating systems. So we are currently committed to the Windows operating system. The way I understand it, I'm low on the totem pole, man. I don't know what's <laughs> down in the pipeline, but that's my guess right now. I Yeah, I'm, I'm led to believe that um, Mac is not quite on the radar right now. 
But we've got people from all over California, right through to upstate New York. Do we have anyone on from northern, from the northern edge of the United States or maybe Canada? Um, Colorado. That's a short drive up north to where you are. Yeah. See, I've got a few people here from Michigan and I'm, my province is very close to the state of Michigan. So I'm going to see a lot of those people next week in Michigan at a big quilt show. So yeah, let's, we'll double back to the comments. If you have any more questions, we can hop back to those in just a moment. But Gail has, is with us because she has an exciting announcement about an upcoming event. I do. Quilt Academy 2023. Quilt Academy is something that is going to take place in Edmonton, Alberta. It's taking place at the end of this month from the 27th to the 30th. Three full days of um, classes plus an evening before with keynote speaker Helen Godden from Australia. There are pro stitcher classes, there are free motion classes, there are uh, stationary classes, and Helen's going to do some classes on painting and coloring, her special techniques. It's just going to be a lot of fun, and lots of people have heard of Academy that happens in Utah. This is an opportunity for the people in that part of the country or across Canada to attend Academy can I say in Canadian dollars? Sure. Yes. You know, so, sure. Um, makes it a little more reasonable for us Canadians to travel back and forth and keep our dollars on par. And anyone who wants to visit us from the States, it's almost like you get a 30% discount right off the bat, right? There you go. With our exchange um, rate right now. That is so exciting that Helen will be the keynote speaker. Helen I has know. recently released. Now, Helen is... Uh, largely hand-guided free motion. She uses a stationary machine and she does outstanding, beautiful artwork. But she has also partnered with Pro Stitcher and has a series of um, her feathered friends set is available on ProStitcher.com in the event you wanted to stitch her beautiful birds and then watch along with her videos to see um, how to fill those in with the free motion techniques she has. So I was just painting and coloring techniques. Oh yeah. That's, She's going right. to cover that at Academy. Um, so we have other instructors that are going to be there. I'm concentrating my three days of teaching. I'm going to do a day of pro stitcher, a day of pro stitcher designer. I'm going to do a, another half day of more advanced pro stitcher stuff. And I'm doing a half day of embroidery on the long arm, which it brings in designer and pro stitcher. And we're going to stitch out a single color design and a multicolor design. And so I'm really excited about that. That's and awesome. A big shout out to you, Jen, and your team, um, because you've given me an opportunity to provide anyone attending my classes a discount. That's right. So I'm really excited to be able to offer that to the attendees of Academy Canada. So I was just scrolling through the class list. And right before we started the Facebook Live, I, I sort of went through and counted. There's over 40 classes. Yes, ma'am. And it's still, uh, registration still open? Registration is still open. There are a couple of classes, only have a couple of spots left, as you can imagine, but um, other classes are, are pretty open. And okay. what the folks at Quilt Academy 2023 are prepared to do, anyone who signs up um, now, if they enter the words no fees in the discount code, they won't be paying those registration fees. They still have to pay the registration fee. You know that event booking fee that Eventbrite charges? Mm -hmm. um, they're going to waive that fee for oh. anyone who signs up now. Yeah. Okay. So you gave something. They're going to give something now to your viewers, and we're all happy. And so viewers, for, right? for those of us who may be a, a little bit further south than um, Edmonton, uh, Canada, I thought I'd go ahead and scroll over to the map. And the Fantasyland Hotel, awesome name for a hotel. <laughs> I know. Uh, this is approximately where the event is happening. And uh, since it is at the end of the month, you actually definitely still get airline tickets. So, oh, you can still get airline tickets. And the Fantasyland Hotel is actually located at the West Edmonton Mall. Um, so, you can get in lots of shopping. You can rent ice skates and go ice skating as well inside the mall. Real Canadian kind of thing or just hang out with the rest of the instructors because we're all looking forward to you. I, I know I'm going to speak on behalf of myself. Allison and Amy are going to be there along with Nicholas and 
Marjorie and they're just an, it's an incredible group of instructors that are, we're just going to all have so much fun together and with you and and joining in with Helen. A time like this will never be had again. Yeah. Well, until next year when it's <laughs> when they fire it up again. That's true. OK, so let's check real quick if we have any further questions. It looks like Karen, who's also um, an educator with Pro Stitcher, she says, uh, for several several reasons, it's recommended to unplug your machine when it's not in use, and this will prevent your battery from having issues. And what that does is stop it from continually charging. I guess when you continually charge your battery, your battery uh, metaphorically says, whoa, that's enough. Um, so you should unplug it when you're not using it. Oh, could we come to the UK? Sure. I was just in the UK. I was at Festival of Quilts in Birmingham at the beginning of August. Did I meet you, Carolyn? I say yeah. yes. We should just go to the UK. Yes, I think we should too. <laughs> Jen, we'll, we'll take this on the road and we'll do some teaching over there. Sure, yes. Okay. Yep. Well, I think that's all the questions. Of course, if you have any support related questions, you can always message Pro Stitcher, support at ProStitcher.com. And then our next Facebook Live is going to be on September 20th, and we have a special treat for you, Adam, who you may have heard of, uh, Adam So Fun. Uh, he will be on with Kelly, and Kelly is a Janome educator who also runs Pro Stitcher, and they're going to show us some very exciting, I believe, double wedding ring techniques. So that's going to be an exciting Facebook Live in two weeks on the 20th. So that's it. And I'll head over to Jacob and let him know that the party's over. We finished our second Facebook Live.